hello hello everyone and welcome back to my channel so uh, today I have quite a uh, an interesting project and perhaps a challenging one and um, so I'm gonna share with you the problem and uh, see what we can do about it today okay and uh, so anyhow uh, this is a hot water uh, electric water tank and um, so what I noticed is uh, right away is uh, right here on the inlet. I don't know if you can see that, but this is copper uh, piping along with the uh, the coupling here, the you know the nipple inlet, and it's sort of I think to me it's corroding, or you know at least it's oozing out water. So either it's getting rust and all that. And uh, you can see the line built up here. Um, yeah, it's a different angle for you to see. But, uh, there's also an expansion tank up here. And uh, so this tank is about uh, uh, nine, nine years old. It was uh, manufactured in October uh, of 2014. So the problem, you know, that I'm suspecting that Perhaps the anode rod in this tank is uh, have uh, dis you know have uh, all gone away, right? It's, it's dissipated uh, with all the the mineral and all that, so it's eat away the the anode. And um, so I'm just a little concerned about this project because um, I'm I'm going to try to change out the uh, the anode first to see if anything there. Uh, just to see if I can prolong this this tank and um, yeah and see what what's going on there sometime one of the uh, newer type tank the anode is is uh, built in into this uh, this uh, in inlet okay so uh, so sometime but I don't know but I, I suspect this since this is about you know 10 years old nine years old uh, it's probably have its own port here where the uh, the anode is connected to. So, yeah. So I think that is what I'm gonna try to see. Uh, we have to pry this this cap out. Um, yep. And see, you know, if if there's an actual. Yeah. So and it's foam over also. So I don't think they uh, intend for us to do this uh, repair but I have to uh, kind of yeah kind of pry this whole thing out yeah so we have to uh, probably use a screwdriver or something and see if there's a uh... all right so bear with me and let me get something to work with and uh, and, and show you again okay um, and um, you know, but I just want to see what's in there first before, and if we actually start going to do this, we have to shut the water, and also the electrical outlet, which is in this case I have up there for the switch. If not, you have to turn it off from the breaker. All right, but uh, but let me get the tool, and, and we'll see what we can do about this here. Okay, I'm back, uh, folks, and I got myself a screwdriver. And we're just gonna work this out and see if we can get this. I'm hoping that there is a, uh, you know, a port here for the rod. That will help us a lot. But again, you know, it might be just some challenge too because since this is nine years old, uh, hopefully that you know the thread and all that is still workable. You know, it's probably not welded to the uh, uh, to the tank, right? So, so I'm hoping that's also the case. Okay, it it might be looking good because I, I do see uh, 
a hex uh, thread uh, nut there. So, so that's that's a good good indicator that the rod, you know, the you know, that the anode rod is here. So, all right, so I'm gonna just get a little bit more on the side a bit hot so hopefully yeah, yeah this whole thing so will be a little bit mess messy using a paint uh, you know uh, can opener and kind of trying to clean up as, as much as I can yeah. and I'm probably gonna vacuum this thing out you know just to yeah you know, I don't want any uh, debris anything like that to go back into the tank yeah, and, uh, So I'm, I'm, I'm crossing my finger. I'm hoping that this will be a, a straightforward project, but, uh, but we'll have to see. All right. So, all right. So let me uh, get a vacuum clean um, and vacuum this thing up. So at least it's a little clean. All right. All right. I got my vacuum cleaner. I'm gonna turn on, make some noise. So excuse me. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so that's hopefully that's better. Um, I'm gonna shut down my uh, my switch here to the water tank, and I'm gonna shut my my water here. Okay, so luckily I have a shut off here. If not, then you have to shut out outside or somewhere to the water to the house. But uh, this will shut it off. So, so that seems to be pretty good. So, all right. So let me get the the socket and uh, and see if we can work that. Oh, by the way, um, it comes in this kit right here, and. Uh, this kit I bought, it does come with a 27 millimeter socket. You can see there. Hopefully, it's kind of shiny, so it's kind of hard, right? Right, 27. And it comes with two uh, Teflon uh, rolls. And here's the main point was the anode rod. So this anode rod is the uh, foldable, you know, it's not the solid uh, pipe. Okay, and the reason for this is, you know, um, originally they put a solid pipe in, but now that you can see, this tank is about, I say, about uh, four feet or so, a little bit over four feet tall, and the ceiling, from here to the ceiling, is probably less than about three feet. So, if this rod is too long, you won't be able, you know, to slide into this. You might build, but it's tough. So that's why they make this thing that is foldable, uh, you know, with a with the metal uh, wires in between the the section, so that you can uh, you can kind of easily uh, you know maneuver this in inside the, the tank. All right, so uh, so let's try to see if we can do this. Um, I'm gonna try to use uh, the socket first and see how how tough this thing is. Um, if not, then we'll probably have to figure out either using an impact or something to see if we can free this up. All right, but uh, yeah, so uh, I'm not gonna let any water out. Uh, maybe, maybe I have to release some pressure, I guess. So I'll, I'll open the, you know, the the inside, uh, you know, the hot water side, and see if we can bleed off some pressure. 
but I don't I don't want to take the water out from this tank right obviously because I need the weight so that I can uh, I can turn this this nut if it's uh, too tight all right so uh, so wish me luck and we'll see what happened here okay so here's the actual rod that I bought it looks like that, like that yeah you can see it's uh, yeah, it's one four section and just to lay against the so it's just going in the tank like that. Alright, so Okay, so so let's see if if, uh, if, if I'll sock it. Yeah, I can fit it over. Yeah, okay. So yeah, so definitely a seven 27 millimeter socket. This one fit nicely. So, so we'll see. If, yeah, we can open that. All right. So I'm gonna use a extension, uh, like a two inch extension, half inch. Let's see if we can. All right. So let's see. So it's lefty loosey, right? So, and this thread is so I'll hit a little bit. <clears throat> Boy. It's really tight. Snap. Yeah. I'm using a breaker bar so but it's not liking this so Remove the extension. See, if that will give me a more. You know, I I can feel the water tank moving, so that is not a good good thing either. All right, so I'm gonna try Plan B because uh, I can feel that you know, you know the tank is is rotating, so I'm I'm gonna have to use an impact wrench on here and see if we can crack this open all right so bear with me okay so i in the my previous video that i make i'm using this dewalt uh half inch impact um and you know again i, I make the video about recycle the uh, the the tools using the adapter and the uh, lithium battery so this model you can see there this is the uh, DC820 impact with the uh, impact socket 27 inch that I have so, so so let's see if this gonna be able to I'm hoping that this will be able to get this oh that would be nice okay so wish Again, I'm going to try my best here and see if this will, uh, will get it out. Boy, it's, it's hard. It's, uh, yeah, it's not... Oh, okay, it came. It's spin. Ah, okay. See this? Look at this. The rot is all gone, folks. There's nothing left here. Oh my goodness. I don't know if you can see. Uh, let me put some light down there. Perhaps you can see better. But see, guys. So it's been overdone. So so since the anode is all uh, you know uh, dissolved. I think it started to eat the metal, so that's why it's uh, yeah it's taking place. It's, it's corroding here instead of uh, the the anode rod that we had in there. All right, so so let me uh, let me show you. Yep, Let's see if we can get this thing out. Yep. There you go. Yep. See nothing left 
it's just a point. Look at that. Boy, oh boy. Okay, but I'm glad. I'm glad this thing came out. Um, and 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 that really. Okay, so let me see if I can uh, use my phone to. Uh, Give you guys a clear picture down there. See that? Yep, so that's what it looks like. Okay, but uh, so I'm gonna put the new rod in there and uh, yeah, and then we'll probably have to drain the whole thing and then I'm, I'm gonna have to address that, that leaks or you know, the deterioration. Okay, so. So let's see how we can do this. All right. All right, so here I'm, I'm going to slide in my new rod. Make sure you straighten it out as best you can. Um, so that it, you know, it stays straight. Alright, so here I am. I'm going to slide in. Oh, okay, that's not good. Alright, it's probably best to take some water out, guys. Uh, because I, I noticed that it start oozing up so I think at this point uh, yeah we'll probably have to put a, a hose on the bottom of this boiler drain and then uh, take some water out because I, I don't want I don't want the water to ooze out and remain there you know around the tank it might corrode the tank also so that's not a good idea right um, so so let's see if we can uh, take out some water at the bottom so it's not you know it's not filling up or overflowing when I put this metal rod in there all right so here's the hose we'll connect it up to it and let it drain to the uh, yard outside so yeah we'll have to drain this anyway but let's release some out first before yeah, yeah. Okay, so I believe this is left lefty Lucy also. Yep, there you go. Yeah. yeah let's see. Okay. Let's come. Yeah. All right. So I'll let it drain down a little bit, and then we'll put the rod in. So uh, the water has gone down a good amount already, so I, I can see that. So I'm going to put some Teflon over this new rod, the uh, the thread here, with uh, some Teflon tape that it came with. So hopefully this would be good. So you can see here. Let me show you how I... Yeah. So just kind of wrap it. Put a good amount. Uh, no, nope, I wrapped it wrong, guys. So yeah, the other way, right? Goes against. I'm wrapping. I guess you're gonna be, you know, uh, clockwise. So you have to wind this thing. Yeah, counter clockwise. So. Put a put a decent amount on there, so because obviously I don't I don't want to get any leaks in there, you know, being being water pressure and all that. So, so. a couple of turns, yeah. So one more, yeah. I'd say that's pretty good. Yep, and then I'll, I'll 
I'm going to feed it in. Let's see. Yeah, see, this thing will be gone in the, like I said, in a few years, right? It'll, it'll get it all dissolved. So, so get in there pretty good. See if you can uh, start the thread by hand. Yeah, so make sure that it's not cross-threaded, which I can feel is, okay, it's good. And then I'm gonna, Yeah, manually by hand. I'm not going to use the, the impact to get this thing in there. So. Yeah, so sorry about that folks. Uh, my battery ran dead, so I just yeah, recharged my camera here and it's back. So anyway, it's, uh, it's in, so the rod is, you yeah, know, so. Um, so I'm, I'm letting the, the tank drain at the moment, so just to let that drain. Uh, for here, I decided that I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna clean it up for now and um, yeah and see you know if there's still water uh, you know leaking or seeping through uh, yeah but I'm, I'm not gonna address this now I might address it at the later point but anyhow I'm uh, I just use some water and some baking soda and uh, I just want to see if I can clean up some of these the lime built up here so yeah it's just to let it best to get a rag in the, underneath but, uh, I'm just wrap that up Because it's, yeah, it's no point in me uh, doing this now, and you know, it might decide that the tank is gonna leak, and I had end up changing this whole thing anyway. So I'm just gonna monitor it to see if the you know, the joint is is getting any worse. Well, you know, because chances are, if the anode's now uh, you know it's in there, you know it won't it won't. Uh, you know, attack or corrode more of the uh, yeah of this fitting right here. So, so hopefully that'll be okay. So, yeah. But just for now, just clean it up pretty good, and hopefully we'll be all right. Okay. But anyhow, um, yeah. Uh, overall, I say this project is is better than me expected. Uh, the reason for that is, you know, I'm able to uh, change out the uh, the anode very good, you know, so so I'm quite happy about that. Um, and again, you know, what really helped was the uh, impact wrench, right? Uh, and that really, yeah, because I wasn't able to, you know, break that free with the, uh, the breaker bar, but, uh, you know, with the, with the impact, yeah, I was, uh, you know, with some work, but it came out very straightforward. Because I, I mentioned that, you know, even with the breaker bar, I'm able to manage, rotate the tank. And you don't want to do that because you end up twisting. Um, uh, one last note is uh, the reason for the drain, the, 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 the tank to drain slow because, you know, obviously it takes some time. And I don't want to release this valve because a lot of time, once you, it's old like this, if you release this uh, relief valve, you, it might not shut down. It might stay open and it start, you know, uh, leaking water. 
so you don't want to do that uh, so that's why I'm trying to avoid that okay so uh, um, that's pretty much all I have um, yeah overall I'm happy with this uh, uh, project today that I did um, again this uh, model number yeah it's just uh, for reference is the Pro E40 T2 RH92 okay so that's the ream 40 gallon tank um, uh, I'm not sure how many what kind of warranty this has but uh, the most is probably anywhere from six to nine years I guess and, uh, so I guess it has reached that limit um, okay um, so hopefully this helpful for you guys uh, out there um, yeah so my recommendation is you know uh, don't wait nine years for changing this you know perhaps you know I say maybe six year or so and uh, you know you might want to uh, to look into changing that rod you know um, don't don't wait nine years like I have with this with this tank all right uh, okay thank you for watching and good luck with yours out there okay uh, we'll see you on the next video uh, bye bye